If you use a Stream Deck and are worried that you might inadvertently press that end stream button just in the middle of your live stream with Ecamm Live, then stick around because I've got a great little tip just for you that I learned today. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and this is just going to be quite a quick video today to share with you something that I learned today that now I've heard about it, uh, it just seems so obvious really. And it came about because of a question that was asked in the Ecamm Live Facebook group. So if you're not a member of that and you use Ecamm Live, then go to facebook.com slash groups slash Ecamm Live. Uh, and Carly Alexander uh, asked in there from uh, Chocolate Twist Yoga, if there was a way to uh, add a function to Stream Deck where you basically have to double press a button in order for it to carry out an action. And the reason for this was so that if you've got an end stream button uh, programmed in your stream deck that you can basically inadvertently nudge the button and end your stream uh, prematurely. So that was the uh, the reason for the question. And I answered straight away with, no, I'm afraid there isn't, but let me think about it because I'm sure it can be done with Keyboard Maestro. And so my head started whirring away in the way that it does about how I could program some sort of macro to do this that would basically just watch for consecutive keystrokes uh, and then that would go and... Uh, function to, uh, or activate the function rather within Ecamm Live to end the stream and so I thought there we go I'll uh, make a little video and write a little macro to do that uh, but then before I even had time to do it <laughs> somebody and I'll get the name <laughs> Gary McGowan came up with the obvious answer <laughs> and it's so blindingly obvious and actually genius in its simplicity uh, which was simply this so I'm going to come over to my stream deck so let's say you want to have to double press this button here just in the top corner to end your live stream uh, well basically what Gary had done was rather than have the button there itself he had just come here and created a folder so create a folder uh, and then inside the folder uh, he then added the button to end the stream uh, one second, where has it gone? Ecamm Live. So it's this Go Live button. And if you are live, it will change to Finish. Uh, so the Finish button is there. So the effect of this is basically exactly what we were trying to achieve in the first place. You press the first button here, and then you press the button again, and it will end the stream. Obviously, you can go in and add a custom icon to these so that they've both got the same Finish icon, and you'll have that finish icon up there or the end stream icon but it just means that you can't inadvertently just knock the button once uh, and then end the stream you've always got this extra level of uh, going through to this folder if you were really worried you might press it you could even add a second folder and go three levels deep uh, but that is basically uh, the solution and that is all that I want to share with you on this video because I just thought that was absolute genius and uh, I have seen a few streams <laughs> end just before they're supposed to and in fact I've got to confess that I've uh, inadvertently inadvertently ended my videos before I meant to as well so uh, I'll definitely be implementing this one uh, that's all for right now if you found that useful uh, go and find uh, Gary McGowan in the Ecamm Live Facebook group and find a post and uh, give him a thumbs up because it is absolute genius so for now I'll leave it there but I'll leave a link to some more Ecamm Live videos over on the right hand side have a great day